So my name is Johannes Bartel. I was born and raised in Austria. I was and still am a personal trainer. Moved to the States in 2014, studied acting, and I think in 2015 was when I started my social media career, if you wanna call it that. I started my social media career because I was just pissed at the, at the industry because I went to so many auditions and castings and it, it was the same thing every time. No, no, no. And the reason was I didn't have any experience. I was like, I was in school for an entire year and I acted for an entire year every day. Um, but I didn't get a chance to actually do what I wanted to do, which was acting. So I started producing my own content. Obviously it's not, you know, it wasn't movies, but it was 60 second content, which was also a lot of work, but that's how I started. And then after that, I think I, I think half a year later, I started producing more acting content, released that as well, um, while maintaining my entire fitness, you know, brand basically, and did my personal training online. I was very active as a child. Like I was very lucky that my mom supported my active lifestyle. <laughs> I was like five or six years and I was in a soccer team, volleyball team, I had a tennis coach. Um, I was allowed to go to a sports school. So we had 10 hours of just physical education every week. And I was like, I don't remember. I think it was 10, 10 years old. So I had like 20 hours a week of physical education in total, like including, you know, all the different kinds of sports. Um, and when I, when it was time to decide what I want to do for the rest of my life, I was like, I'm going to study, you know, personal training. I want to become a personal trainer so I can do that as a business, as my career. Um, so I think when I was 18, 19, I studied everything, you know, personal training. Um, and I became a personal trainer, I think when I was 19 or 20 years old. So my training style is very, I don't want to call it unique because I, I, I don't specialize only on one thing because I'm a CrossFit level one trainer. So I love CrossFit for certain, you know, workout routines or like for different goals that I have. If I want to get into shape and want to look a certain part, I know how to do that with CrossFit, but I also love the classic bodybuilding routines. Um, with that being said, I'm also a TRX trainer, a cross court trainer, so I love including as many different types of fitness into my own routine. And on top of that, like I started focusing more on powerlifting because I noticed that, um, yeah, powerlifting is not my strength and I want to make it a strength. So now I'm focusing more on that as well. What fitness has, I don't want to say taught me, but like got me through was when my father passed away. I remember that the pain that I experienced, I was 14 years old, so my father passed away out of nowhere, so I was 14 years old and I, I was like, like, what's next? Um, and I kind of escaped the pain from inside, or not escaped, I got rid of the pain from the inside through physical work. So I did my pull-ups, I did my push-ups, I did my sit-ups, and that just strengthened my body but also strengthened me mentally because I knew okay I have I have an outlet like I, I didn't escape into like drugs or anything else I escaped into fitness and fitness just made me I don't want to say a better person but like the discipline that comes with that and the achievements you can be proud of yourself after you know putting in the work because nobody can do that for you you can't buy it you can't purchase a great physique you have to actually work for it um, but yeah it's just like mentally and physically it brought me into a state of like a, it's hard to describe i just feel proud of who i am today because of fitness if that makes sense hard work pays off in the end and like if you can do that and be proud of yourself without you know showing the world or telling the world about it is is beautiful like not saying that you know you can't tell people about your successes but i for example, I told you, and I'm telling the camera now, but like I just got my green card after six years. I worked for my green, green card for six years. And after six years now, I feel so accomplished and good about it. I'm good about myself because I know I put in the work. I did what was necessary to achieve that goal. So many people, you know, during the entire like six years, they were asking me, what are you doing? Come out and do this. And I was like, no, I have to work on this, on this paper for my green card and they're like, come on, I'll do it another day. And I was like, no, I have to work on this. And it meant a lot to me and now I'm even more proud of the entire process and like outcome. Everything happens for a reason. You have to dream big 
you have to like keep your goal like whatever you want to achieve in life it doesn't matter what it is you want to be an actor you want to be a firefighter you want to be whatever an accountant in like a special firm whatever it is keep that dream alive because there will so, there will be so many people telling you that you can't have that because of so many other reasons just don't listen to those people just focus on your goal and don't get disencouraged if if there will be obstacles like there will be stones in your path and in your way and you just have to figure a way out to either go around them above them go through them but just don't stop obstacles will happen um and that's why it's so important that you envision yourself already at the at the finish line you, you need to know where you want to go because otherwise you will get distracted and people will tell you look look over there you can do this as well because this is really really hard there's a shortcut here and if you always say no i know where i'm going then you will achieve that 100 <laughs> percent the mics weren't on <laughs> yeah i imagine the mic wasn't on at that time all right let's do it one more time do you remember what you said uh yeah well <laughs> oh, that was a warm-up that's a good warm-up let's do four more sets <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>